Greg, you were not in this video. Uh, you weren't involved in shocking um, uh, Andre, but you were a teacher's aide at, at the center during the time that, that Andre was there. Was this kind of thing a regular occurrence? They had discontinued using tying students up and shocking them spread out like that. Until I'd been there for a while, then they started using that again. Did you administer shocks to students as well? Yes, yes. I, uh, with students that they call the lower functioning, the lower end of the autism spectrum. Never did I shock a student while tied up, but I was in a room where they were doing that, and I felt very sick being there, and I wanted to grab the student and run out the door with the student. And I know that it's, ju it's not only legal in Massachusetts to do this, it's also court-ordered, court-approved by the judge. I would be in trouble if I did that. And, and yet, you know, I still, this to this day, I regret that I didn't just walk out right then um, after seeing and witnessing but Greg, that. Greg, you the know, there, there, I'm the lawyer here, others say, uh, some parents even say, look, these are kids who no other school will accept, who have severe issues, and some parents say this is a way that actually does control them, that, that they stop banging their heads against the wall, they stop mm -hmm. being a danger. That's why I did work there as long as I did, until I realized there are so many other things you can do besides shocking students.